tripping. Oh, some days I feel like I am gifted. Some days I feel like I'm I really did. What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy VGF Unguardable, and I'm here with another 2K25 video for y'all. So, we got my first video with the lockdown build that's good for Prime, Wreck, and Park. Now, I'm about to drop you a seven foot big man that's good for random wreck and pro am and just wreck in general so if you like to play wreck on your own randoms in a random wreck no squads this is a great build if you like to play pro am bobby five competitively this is a great build if you like to just play with your guys too it's a great build so uh let's get into it man you know we're gonna be a center we're gonna go six we're gonna go seven foot you know what i'm saying we're gonna go seven foot we're gonna put our weight to about 245 you know what i'm saying 245 so we can have that um that speed that 70 speed and we got the 74 wingspan so that's what we want right there 245 246 i should say 246 first thing i'm gonna do man is put that strength up to a 95 as you can see, man, now you got lit Hall of Fame brick wall, which is going to be huge. And then I'm going to put this um, rebound chaser up to a 96. Now you got Hall of Fame rebounding badges, but the reason the strength is a 95, man, you want to be able to set screens on this game. With the way this game moves, I found some secret sauce, secret sauce, excuse me, to uh, how to ISO in this game. Today, actually, while I'm making this video, I found out some secret sauce how to ISO. But a lot of people need screens, so having high brick wall is going to do wonders for you. And then we're going to go to the block. So, we're going to go 74 block. I know that's not that high, feel me, but this is the thing, man. If you're playing competitive pro-am, or even if you're playing wreck with your friends, you're not going to be guarding a pick and roll. And even if you were, look at the perimeter defense still. Look at what it goes to on the 7 foot. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not gonna be able to guard pick and roll. So you're gonna be in a corner trying to block shots out the corner. And what you really need is you just need that high flying denier. You know what I'm saying? The high flying denier, which we will have. And you need that paint patroller, which you will have. And we're gonna put our speed to 70. I like 70 speed because of, I like 70 speed because of, mainly because you can slip to the basket fast off the screen. You can spot finder quickly. Right now, I've been running PNR with a uh, stretch that has 66 speed, so 70 speed will definitely work. It will definitely help you get open, get to the basket and help you pop, move around real good, rotate out that corner well on defense, and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're just going to go 76, 76 interiors for silver off ball pest. And we're going to go 60 still, so you can have intercepted. And this is where the build gets fun, man. We're gonna go 87 mid-range shot. And we're gonna put our we're gonna put our but now we're gonna put it to an eight. So you have silver set shot of specialist and silver dead eye, which is pretty which is really good. But we also well seven footers they cannot get shifty shooter. So it's okay man, because you're you're not there to shoot those kind of shots but you if you can make them you can make them but that's just our specialist silver and dead eye silver that's huge i would probably put my max one on set shot specialist so i can have it do you can have it go so you can pop really well and i will go 90 well, we went 90 standing up now you got the uh, contact dunks and stuff like that and all the stuff you need for that and then i would we went we put our vertical up, I believe, to about a 74. I believe it was a 78. 78 vertical. And this, how, this will help you block shots because you have a 78 vertical with 74 block. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be huge to help you get blocks and rebounds. A 7 foot, you jumping, got a 78 vertical, you're going to be jumping out the sky. You're going to be jumping out the sky, out the roof, doing a lot of stuff that you need to do. That would be good to see, man. That would be good to see. And this would have built. This would take the build over the top. This would make you a great center for great growing and all that because you have a 93 pass accuracy. 
So you had legend break starter, silver versatile, versatile visionary, and Hall of Fame diamond. I meant to say Hall of Fame break starter, excuse me. So 93 pass actually, you could launch it from under the hoop to the other side of the hoop and all types of stuff with that, man. But yeah, this is how the build should look. I kind of tweaked it a little bit. I gotta make, I gotta check it. I don't think the permanent was that low. I believe it was, I think it was, I think it was, I'm not gonna lie. Where did I go? Did I go like that? You're gonna leave the permanent like this. I really, I really don't think I went this low on the permanent to be honest with you. But you're gonna be guarding corners, so you got the off ball pass and, and whatnot. We gotta fix that free throw for sure. Let me check and see how I tweaked it. Let me check and see how I tweaked it. I can go look for y'all boys. So this is how it's supposed to be. And I believe, where did I put too much at? I believe I put too much on my on my agility. So let me lower this agility to 49. My bad, I'm taking so long, man. I'm trying to make sure this build is right for y'all. Sorry, I'm taking too long, but I gotta make sure. So we went 69, so we went 49 and 69, and we went 72, right? So let's go 72, right? Yeah. 72, 49, 69. So now you can get that 55 perimeter D. It's a whole lot better than what we had. So now look, you know what I'm saying? Now you can get a decent contest in that corner. Got a decent free throw. The three ball is there. You still can still jump out the gym. You got go rise up, of course, and you got go area wizard, silver pogo. You got high flying denier. So you will jump out the gym, man. And you will be able to steal up, get in the lane here and there. You will be snagging up on a lot of people. You will be doing a whole bunch on the on the on the defensive end rebounding. Your offensive threat, man. You could still dunk the ball, shoot the ball really well, especially from the mid range area. In the three point area, you have an 83 pointer. You could throw that, that full court touchdown pass like Kevin Love and Jokic. So let's see who they compare us to, man. Jack Sickman, Nikola Jokic, and Damontis Sabonis. The two best passing big men in the NBA. And Jack Sigma, one of the best pa better passers for the Supersonics. Three level score and playmate. That's basically telling you I can score at under the basket from the three in the mid-range area and i can play make for my teammates so this is the build you want to have for random wreck pro-am and this wreck in general because you will make your teammates better you clean up their mistakes and you can amplify their their skill set so without further ado man that's it for bgf unguardable man make sure y'all like comment and subscribe if you mess with the build i will be streaming on twitch and sometimes on TikTok this year, so make sure y'all tune in and that. Make sure y'all hit that follow, turn on them notifications. Other than that, man, I'm out.